Hello Bobcats and all the other SPS teachers out there, Brad Schreffler here. Today I'm going to be doing a quick guide on how to set up the new iPads to be able to use with your swivels. This is a quick and easy one and most likely this has actually already been done for you by your tech, but if it hasn't, here's a quick guide. So as it says on the screen, press home to turn it on. We're going to click English, United States. Once we're connected, we're going to go on OCPS Mobile. The password is OCPS means success and then hit join. Give that a second. It's going to ask to net, let us do remote management. This is how Orange County sets up all the devices to automatically be set the way we need them. And then we click next. And then it's going to start doing the configuration. We're just going to hit continue, enable, continue, get started. Now, it's going to look like this right now. This is not correct. What we're going to need to do is turn the device off. And we're going to need to give it probably five to ten minutes, maybe more, to get all the stuff it needs installed set up on it. So. Now let yours run and then we'll come back to this video once it's all set. Give it five or ten minutes and then come back to the video. All right, so it's been about five minutes for me. You'll know it worked because when you click on the home screen, now you have the OCPS logo on there. So that did go ahead and pull everything. When we look at our apps, we will start to see some of the apps we're going to need. So we have the Swivel DSLR, Swivel Student. It is loading the Microsoft Teams, Chrome, and the other Swivel app. So we can kind of let those things run, let them go um, until they finish installing. Can take a little bit just because there are a lot of different apps to install um, and they're, they're fairly large apps. So it can take a little bit on the school Wi-Fi to get all those installed. Um, so we know it's going, but we're going to let it go for a little bit longer so those apps are installed. While that iPad is setting up and installing everything, we can look at our actual physical device and the setup issues we have to deal with on the swivel itself. So this is the actual swivel. I've taken the plastic wrap and everything off of it already. This is the swivel itself. This is the thing that the iPad is actually going to sit in to get a view. The first thing we have to do here, because these iPads all have cases on them, is we have to go ahead and replace this mount because that is not going to work for the iPads that we're using with the OtterBoxes. I'm going to try to shift this up a little bit so I can see a little bit better. So you can see a little bit better, I should say. There we go. All right, the way we do that, we take this, we're going to push that to the side, and then lift it out. So this piece comes completely out, we can set that to the side, and now we're going to do the opposite with this piece, so the clip part is in the back, we go ahead and put that down, and then shift it over, so we get a nice little click, and that's set up. That will allow us to put the iPad right here, and then this clip will get stretched to the top of the iPad to hold it in place. You also notice that we have a power block. This is to be able to charge the device. It has three charging ports on it. It also should have had a white power block. This is to charge the iPad itself, and it goes with the longer white cable right there. So this longer white cable has what we call a USB-C port on one side, and then the lightning adapter on the other. It's pretty straightforward. Plug it in, plug it into the iPad. The other thing you'll see is that on the back of the swivel is this little black thing here. This is the tracker. This is the thing the swivel looks for and knows what direction to go to. It also has a microphone built in. It has a power button and a record button. So we can do some stuff with that once we get the device actually set up. We have a fisheye lens. This might be an option for you if you want to use it. Um, we can take the caps off of this guy. And then that fisheye lens goes over the top of the camera on here. You'll want to turn the camera on and just make sure you line it up right, but it's just a little clip that clips onto the camera right there so that you can see uh, more of the room, so that students can see more of the room. The last really important cable you'll want to find is this one here. This is a little small white cable. It's in the back corner of that pouch initially. This is going to connect from the back of the swivel device right here into the side of the iPad once all the software and everything is set up and ready to go. And that should cover most of it. Oh, just one more thing. You do have also the power cable for the swivel itself to charge it. And so that looks like a USB on one side and a regular pin adapter on the other. 
that gets plugged into this guy and then plugged in to the room. That, are, that is the major stuff you need to set up the swivel. There are lots of other accessories and things in here that we really probably aren't going to use very much of. This whole side is adapters if you're charging it outside of the U.S. This side is other cables now. This is where the white cable was that connect the iPad to the swivel, but there's also adapters if you're using different devices. We don't really need those. It includes other adapter mounts to, to put different devices into the swivel. We're not going to use any of those, so we only need the setup devices that I showed here. So while you're finishing that iPad up, you may want to let that swivel charge for a little bit to make sure that it's ready to go when you're ready to set up the iPad. All right, so at this point, we should have pretty much all the apps are updated. We'll know. We can see the OCPS backdrop and also see the apps we actually want, which are the swivel apps themselves. There's three different swivel apps, a couple other ones, Teams, Chrome, stuff like that. We know they're set up and ready to go. Um, this is going to be the end of this video. I'm also going to be making a video on how to actually use the iPad and set it up onto the swivel and then also how to actually use the apps and get it running with BBB and Teams. So those will be available shortly and I hope this helped you guys figure out how to set these up in case it wasn't done for you or if you're the person that has to set them up. I hope all of you have a great day. Of course, if you have any additional questions or comments, you can reach out to me, bradley.streffler at ocps.net. I'll be glad to help you guys out there. And I know you're going to do awesome things for and with your students this year.